thank you for joining me today on my YouTube series on this time we are on networking and creating relationships in the entertainment industry. How fun is that? Nothing's more fun than that. Um, so it's tip number six. Uh, so last week at tip number five, we talked about the importance of making the contacts, joining more organizations, going to networking events and all that sort of thing. And I hope you've been out doing a lot of that. Well, one of the other very important things is what we're calling today on tip number six is a visual display, what we call in Flash Forward Institute, the map of relationships. Um, that way you kind of have a whole visual display in front of you. And what I've done is I've invited a very dear friend, also an alumni of the Flash Forward Institute and a successful writer director in the, in the entertainment industry, Mark Rossman. Thank, thank you, Mark. You. Thanks thank for, you for inviting me. Oh, thank you for being here. So what I want to do uh, is ask you, um, uh, you know, to describe, first of all, describe brief, briefly a little bit about uh, yourself and your career, but also how has creating that visual display, that map of relationships, how has that impacted your career? Well, um, I'm a writer director. <clears throat> I've been in the business for about 25 years. I've done pretty much every sort of form of dramatic um, narrative work. I've done episodic television and TV movies and feature films, a lot of family films like A Cinderella Story. And all throughout my career, um, I have tried to use this concept of mm. a map of relationships. Mm, I've always kept a list of all the people I know in the industry. And, of course, I'm always trying to add to that list. Mm -hmm. um, but I keep this list, and I usually put it in different categories. You know, what directors I know, what agents I know, what wow. producers I know, what writers I know. <clears throat> and then my, my goal is really to keep and stay in touch with them. Um, you know, I'll set uh, every sort of three months, I'll set a, a goal of, OK, I'm going to contact 30 of these people in the three months or 50 of these people in the three months. Mm. And I found that along wow. the way in the years that I've been in the business, so many of my jobs have really kind of come from that. Mm. Um, and just uh, as an example, um, the, the latest job, I just finished um, a TV movie. And the way I got the job is um, there was an executive at the network who I stayed in touch with. I had worked with her 12 years ago on a TV movie. She had worked at a different network at that time. And we had a great working relationship. Wow. Um, but time passed, and she moved on to another network. We actually lost touch for a, a while. Mm -hmm. um, but she stayed on my map of relationship. Wow. She was there as an executive. And um, I ran into her about four years ago at a Starbucks, and mm -hmm. we started talking. And um, you know, I found out she was just at this new company. This was four years ago. And every, I'd say, three to six months... Uh -huh. um, I'd either call her or I'd email her and I'd sort of just update her on this is what I'm doing, what are you up to, wow. is there any projects you're looking for, I just finished this. You know, sometimes there was a request where I actually asked her, you know, sure. could we get together for a cup of coffee uh -huh. or, you know, do you have anything specific? Or sometimes it was just checking in sure. and just saying, you know, hey, I just, uh, you know, finished this thing or, I, you know, I just wrote a script or whatever. Mm -hmm. And... I kept doing this over the course of the last four years, and finally, uh, this last, the end of this last year, um, we got together uh, in December, which was about three months ago, and um, I just came in, we just got together, I pitched her a couple things, she said, oh, I love that, but we're not doing that kind of a thing, and um, I gave her some scripts to read, she said, oh yeah, sure, she'll, she'll read them all. Um, she didn't read any of them, uh -huh. um, but over the Christmas break, um, I didn't hear from her or anything. And but in January, I got an email from her. This was about you know three to four weeks after our last meeting, and she said, "Are you wow. available? Somebody just dropped out of a project." My and uh, she put me up for this, and I met the producer, and I got the job, and I just finished directing it. So it really came from staying in touch. She would have never thought of me My if God. I hadn't kept in touch. Oh, that's phenomenal. What's the name of the movie? It's called William and Kate, and it's oh, on Lifetime. That is so fun. I'm so excited. Yeah, and it yeah. airs April 18th. Wow, that is phenomenal. And I think sometimes the people that I try to even remember who they are, because I would love to have them like for a part or to work with, and I can't remember. So mm. you're right, staying in touch. You know, if those people had, would be staying in touch with me, I mean, just staying in touch with each other. So nurturing yeah. those relationships that you have, even if it's like you said, every six months, but just 
don't forget to stay in touch. It's fantastic. I don't really have that much more to say because Mark said it all. I'm, I'm speechless, which has never happened. <laughs> uh, never. In a million years, never. <laughs> you know <with> me. <laughs> so, your homework. Yes, you thought you were going to get away with it, didn't you? Uh, no homework. You have homework uh, for the weekend, uh, and that is to work on your map, and like Mark said, categorize it. So it's all the a actors you know, the directors you know, the producers you know, so put them in categories. And if you What's need good to, about the categories, yeah. by the way, is that it shows you where you're missing people. Like, oh, I know no directors, or I know no writers, or I know no casting directors, or I know no producers, you know, it shows you that. Good. And also kind of probably surprisingly how many people you do know, Yeah, which is kind right. of nice from an acknowledgement point of view. So, wow, mm -hmm. I know a lot more people mm -hmm. than I thought, mm -hmm. too, sometimes, yeah, right. you know. And sometimes what I tend to do is put even a little uh, color coding a bit. You know, if I know people really well that I feel very comfortable making a request, you know, I'll put a little red dot. And somebody who maybe just an exchange business card at a women mm -hmm. in film breakfast, I'll put a yellow. But sometimes right. I kind of associate it, you know, or, or mm -hmm. break it down a little bit like that. So, anyways, what I want you to do for the weekend, like I said, is go to Staples or Office Depot, get some nice big poster board maybe two or three, depending on how many years you've been in the industry, and start to create your visual display uh, of your map of relationships. And then next time, we'll work a little bit further on then what to do with that map, you know, once you've got it done up. So I will see you next Tuesday for tip number seven. And once again, thanks for joining me for this YouTube series. I'm Suzanne Lyons, and I'll see you next time.